finding good anticipation setup is one part of the equation but in order to really exploit the anticipation setup you need to enter it at the right time and that's really the key because if you can enter it early enough then your stop will be very close if you enter it when it breaks out then your all your effort is of not much use because anyway you would have found it even in a breakout scan so let's look at like say and a couple of examples like say this was a setup which was an anticipation setup coming into uh, today if you look at it it was a very nice anticipation setup and now uh, if you enter it at the end of the day the stock is already up 18 percent point 65 or if you enter based on like in a breakout then you are too late so you have to either like and enter it ahead of the time in the sense without waiting for a confirmation so you might have entered it on a, uh, monday without waiting for this confirmation the other way is to like create an order slightly above where the stock is currently trading like in this particular case this stock was uh, traded at 370 and its high was 3.76 and the day before that it has traded at 3.81 so what i did is like i created an order based on this was 3.81 saying that look and if this stock trades few cents about 3.81 i want to be in this stock and i had an order in place uh, before the market opened itself uh, for 3.85 and that basically ensures that I got in as soon as the stock had a breakout and that after that the stock just kept on going up so that's the kind of thing you can do if you want to find these kind of big breakouts and also capture the first day move the whole idea of doing anticipation is that you want to capture this part of this 18.65 percent move so if you can enter early then you can capture it so think about where you are going to enter it and put a stop there buy stop buy limit order and uh, once the price crosses that particular order the order gets executed or the order becomes a live order and that way you can get into a anticipation setup very quickly uh, when it is breaking out for that you have to do some work in terms of like you have to create those orders ahead of the time uh, there is another setup let's look at the another setup which is like again i was watching this and i did enter it in anticipation and i got stopped out on this then i again entered it on this particular day on this particular day the stock was up only 1.96 so by not waiting for the confirmation a lot of people will enter it here this is a 5.76 percent move now by entering it here i got in with a, a, a relatively close stop and because i was entering here i could do a lot a lot more size so like as of now i have around uh, 5400 shares of this particular stock and see like and by relatively by getting in there like and that trade has already is up ten thousand uh, dollars so this is the key like when you find a good opportunity you must always try and get it as early as possible sometimes like an it may not uh, produce much like say this ba again like and the entry was here on this day uh, like and when it was like an when actually it was down and uh, the stock it's a high price stock so the stock did make two dollars move from that entry which itself is good enough because uh, the total size of the position was substantial enough to make a difference to the account like and i had i think uh, uh, total of around three thousand shares of this particular stock so that was around five three six thousand so that's what the key to entering the anticipation setup and not waiting for a confirmation so either enter ahead of the time in anticipation like this could have been entered ahead of the time here itself uh, or this was entered ahead of the time Zagnas was entered ahead of the time and then uh, it had a breakout uh, subsequently but by entering very closely or entering when the stock is not up 4% or 5% because if you enter today your stop will be 5.76 minimum stop will be 5.76 while if you enter on this day your stop is only 1.96 so if the stock just makes 
uh, 5.76 move you are still making 1 is to 2 kind of a uh, risk reward kind of a trade so look for entries where the stock is just about to break out so you might create an order which is at 38.70 or something based on like an either it's last two days of um, trading and then get into the trade early so let's look at some stocks which are setting up uh, as anticipation setup and where you might probably uh, want to enter them because uh, that thinking is important in order to really make uh, a lot more money out of uh, these kind of setup now here is ecyt which is like you know one of the anticipation setup very nice setup now obviously if you wait for it to break out and enter you're going to be late in entry so i would look at an entry point which is like around 5.50 on this particular stock which is around 25 cents okay uh, so that's how you can look at it or like the spectrum pharma biotechnology stock now this is setting up very nicely i will definitely have an order in place on this stock uh, somewhere above this level because like in a today's uh, action uh, makes it likely that if it breaks out it can like you know, make a, a big move so you just have to look at uh, area which is uh, like one or two days high and put an order there i would look at an order which is around 14.40 on this stock or 14.45 uh, kind of an entry this kura again like this is setting up very nicely i would look at entry around 14.20 only this is gone i would say this is again like and you know, it's ready to set up but like and you know, it's not uh, it's been more a bit like you know, it had made an attempt at breakout so but still like and you know, i say i would say that at 124 uh, there will be a good entry on this particular stock which may not be very ideal entry now this is the kind of stock where cytomatics like say you can already like an you know, already I have a position in this stock in anticipation that it will break out to the upside, uh, which is like and you know, basically with a very close stop. Like and you know, my entry was near the close today, and the stop is uh, around 21.50. So that's very small. Uh, so sometimes you take a small position and I add to it. Like I took a small position and I'll add to it, kind of a thing. Okay. Sometimes when a stock goes sideways for a long period of time or something like this, it's like in a better to wait and not really force the entry. See, most of the stocks where I have shown you or where the entry is possible is there is an event closer to the entry. Like in this case, if you see these uh, two stocks, like say uh, uh, in the case of ARDM, you will see that there is a huge breakout here and this was a, just a minor pullback. So that's a good setup here uh, even in the case of here you have a very large breakout so look for within the setups which are available okay look for something which has got huge volume on the uh, before the uh, s setup happens basically like see even ARDM had like an, one of the highest volume like if you look at it like in you know, this particular thing if you see it on some other things see here, here that's the highest volume in years highest volume in years those are the real setup which you want to really focus on rather than others which like you know, may not be the best uh, or may not have the immediate uh, urgency uh, of buying basically is what you want to uh, look at uh, amongst this list of setups. So let's uh, go through some of these. Uh, there's a total list just for uh, like you know, for you to have a look at what all is there now again. See something like this. Is a much better setup than other setup. The reason why you see that there is a huge volume, so there will be there is a uh, possibility that the stock might break out again. What do you see? One of the highest volume in last two or three years. Okay, and then this is a very orderly pullback. This could have been bought even today also in anticipation. Okay, Kura again. What do you see? You see a and Kura was already uh, anticipation sort of a couple of times, but it's become a little bit choppy. But like see highest volume okay one of the highest volume uh, so you can see the volume better on other things like and i say here you can see that the volume is the highest volume okay or here it's the highest volume one of the highest volume uh, this volume is greater than even this volume basically so or here see it's the highest volume 
those are the good setup even this alni is something which i'm watching very closely because why it's the highest volume here like an it's one of the highest volumes so look for those kind of uh, setups within this anticipation uh, so let's go through the list very quickly to see what all i am watching currently something like this is a lower priority setup for me because as i said like you look at something which is immediately triggerable is something which i'm looking for something like this i am always looking for something like that even something like this city mx okay and then see some of these are not so ideal because they are already made a move and they are not really a fast moving kind of candidate but like any you, know, you watch if nothing is triggering and if there is a good setup then you want to really get into it that kind of a thing but like the stocks where there is a huge volume breakout like say recent volume breakout on a very high uh, are the one which can be good but uh, there is a combination of them some of them are good some of them are like it so these are all the stocks which i am watching currently for 41 uh, not all of them are like an a grade setups as far as i am concerned uh, so you say something like this is not really an a grade setup i might be watching it but it's not really something which i am really terribly excited about entering tomorrow morning no definitely not right uh, michael course is there then there is american excel uh, stamp now these are kind of like in you know, a tricky because if they just keep going sideways for a long period of time and also if you look at this stock they, a lot of it is like and you know, basically uh, it tends to move in gaps basically it has made a lot of gaps so it's very tricky but like this is setting up very nicely so you can put an uh, entry or order just above slightly above this level and that order can be resting order using uh, buy limit uh, order uh, so there's neo j and there is trust cetal, cetal genetics the volume here is not very high on this breakout here so this is even though it looks very nice may not be my number one idea or like a, not an a idea uh, genuine parts company uh, high volume basically high volume was high on this particular move here it's a large stock but like you know volume was high uh, randolph take gelled this is an ipo gelled amcor again see here it's a very nice setup but volume is not there so volume is what i prioritize basically uh, so now something like this even though i have in my list it's not something which i am like any really uh, So in this case of like say uh, Philips 66 again volume is not there these are all stocks some of them some of them do not have volume something like this has volume here see and then it's going sideways so look for something which has volume or like any you know, what we call as EP kind of a stock now this is there in the list but it's not something which I would like and you know, so many of these stocks uh, this was just like in a quick cut after the market closed and in the morning i will go through them look for like earnings date see the earnings date is here on these uh, so like that uh, you can reduce the list for current that is setting up nicely it's a high price stock i always like high price stock because in high price stock you can get in with a dollar stop and then it makes five six seven dollars move so that's a good one and jane is there healthcare services fnd this is an ipo this is again like setting up very very nicely maybe possible entry in anticipation with a small uh, position and then you add to it that's another way you can add to a position you can like start building a position uh, slowly like and you just buy 400 share 500 shares uh, up to 1000 shares then uh, if you see that okay it's likely to break out you add another thousand shares and then you like and add another thousand shares and that way you can build a uh, position like in um, say this a fairly large position i have like any uh, upwards of ten thousand dollar profit on this trade uh, see, that tells you what kind of size the trade is so to sum up like in order to enter either enter in anticipation in true anticipation in the sense before the stock breaks out or enter with a limit order above 
and so on so that you can get in very quickly when the stock breaks out that requires certain amount of preparation so the more work you do before the market opens and you have a lot of time to do all these plannings and you can create orders and you can put the, all of these together and then enter because if few trades like this work or that ARJD I think AJRD I think AJRD was the one or I don't know today not that one the uh, one which I showed you right at the beginning which had like 16 17 percent move today now those are the kind of trades which you want to get into as early as possible and uh, then you can make money and if you do the good work on doing anticipation you can almost every day find good low risk entry on some side or the other which makes sometimes 500 600 dollars in first half an hour and sometimes even more based on how much size you are talking about uh, typically uh, minimum size which i would buy on most breakouts uh, is around between like in a thousand to five thousand shares and if you can get in early then you can really get in a good amount of money very quickly so that's what you should be looking at for entering on anticipation setups